Jesus Christ. I decided to meet with Goalie because I need to understand this uh, dream work thing. I have a right to ask questions. I need to understand from Goalie where the source of the power comes from. You're very, very, very smart. I'm not sure about your process. I felt slightly offended. I have to say that people are saying that this is like voodoo or witchcraft or any kind of like out of worldly things. I came in to help her find her voice and help her kind of have a rebirth. I've seen it. I've seen it with Rutema. Your process works. Yes. That's not the question, Goli. Your process works. But what's the question, okay. baby? I'm gonna step back a second. Do you know where I'm from? Africa. I came from a place where I've seen a lot of things. So when you are able to remember your dreams as vividly as Tamar does, you're connecting to a certain spirit within yourself. That spirit has a source. I just need to know where the source of that spiritual energy and that enlightenment in, in, in comes from. And if it doesn't come from God, my God, which is Jesus Christ and the Bible, then I can't subscribe to it. Now, if you can tell me a place in the Bible that explains where dreams are manifested by God, then I'll believe you. Can you tell me that? Um, there was a book written. No, 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 what phrase in the Bible? Bible. What phrase in the, what, what part of the Bible? I don't know it by heart, my okay. love. I need that. I'm so sorry. I need that. It's based on Jungian psychology. It had nothing to do with God. When we went to DC and we saw her performances, it was because she was in her highest potential dream. There was nothing blocking her. Actors can be very self-intelligent. You said it had nothing to do with God. That's a big deal for me. I understand. Wait, wait, so you didn't finish telling me the process. So what? I ask her questions she, while she goes through the dream. We all know that when you ask questions sometimes, a good lawyer knows when you ask questions sometimes, leading questions could actually cause somebody to think of things no. which they would not have asked. Stop about. it, David, now. Saying? Stop it. Well, you know that. I don't ever push anyone. All I do, I make- you said you interpret the dreams for her. No, darling, I'm a guide. I know what's going on. All I do so is ask, ask questions. questions. Well, you see, questions I mean, could be leading, could actually cause no. someone. Tamar described the dream to me, the Tyler Perry one. Her interpretation, Tamar's interpretation, probably with your prodding, was always come to the dream and I'll be there for you. That's her. But that's one interpretation. A second interpretation could have been go on your knees when you get home and pray. Open your Bible, supplicate, go to your family, go to your friends, go to your you know church, go to your pastor. I know, but baby, and that uplift, doplift, doesn't work uplift, creatively. Uplift yourself directly to God. That could have been the interpretation of that dream. I'm just saying that dream. But dreams, I interpreted that, that she already. Had. Well, oh, so you interpret it? I thought you said she interprets it. Together, but when I saw the symbol of her well, jumping by herself. how do you know herself? to interpret her dreams? Because I interpreted all the dreams. So you interpret the dream. I thought you said you let them interpret it. So you do the interpreting. No, I guide. I look at the symbols. I walk them through. You know what? I think you should. Then let's do tonight's dream together cool. right now. Let's go. You sure? Yes. With Tamar? Obviously.